everyone, Morgan here. So let me ask you something. Why do we prep? I mean, why do we even prep? What's the point? If nothing bad will ever happen to me, why should I even be prepared? Right? Bad things happen to other people, okay? They can handle that. So why do I even need to be prepared? It takes one time to become a victim. And if you're not prepared for whatever attack comes at you, and let me clarify what I mean by attack. Attack could be a loss of a job. The attack could be your car being stranded. The attack could be mother nature. The attack could be some evil person wanting to do something evil to you. Now, why you? You may be asking, why me? I'm nobody, right? Um, Molly Tibbetts, which I'm sure you guys have heard in the news, I'm sure she thought she was nobody. Just an average college student. And she was just went out for a run, like she probably has done hundreds of times maybe. And she was murdered by someone who chose her. Why her? They chose her, murdered her. That's it. And that's the end of it. She's no longer here. It, it's mind blowing. It, it's just mind blowing how somebody else could just choose somebody to take their life. It's mind blowing to me. However, as mind blowing as it is, I still know that there are psychopaths out there who get a kick and a joy out of this. And not only that, <clears throat> but human trafficking is a booming business. I hate calling it a business. It's so disgusting. So now being a um, mother, I'm even more vigilant and aware about this kind of stuff. You know, I'm even more like, I mean, I stay up awake at night thinking of terrible scenarios just so that I can be prepared to handle those terrible scenarios because nothing bad is ever going to happen to my child. Okay. Um, it's, it's about self-preservation, the preservation of your loved ones. And, you know, I do these videos so that I can try to help you guys to be a little more prepared against the evils of the world too, against the evil mother nature, against, you know, terrorists, against, you know, the random person on the street who decided they're having a bad day and wants to punch you in the face. You know, I don't know. There's so much crazy stuff going on that you just don't know what bad thing is going to befall upon you. And like I said, you know, that bad thing could be anything. It could be just the loss of a job, but that is big especially if you're a one income household and you suddenly lose your job, it's big. You know, that is an evil thing, that, a bad thing that has bestowed your family. Um, with preparation, you know, and the preps that we have and the preparations that we do, it's for everyday stuff. It's for big, you know, uh, apocalyptic scenarios. It's for, you know, emergencies and disasters. It's for anything bad that could possibly bestow upon us that, you know, that we cannot control. I mean, we can't control somebody else's thought process of, I'm going to murder her or somebody else's thought process of, Oh, I, I, I work for the cartel and I gotta, you know, steal that child for, for my business. You, you can't control their minds and their thought process, processes. And you also can't control mother nature. We can control never saying it'll never happen to me. Okay. We can control being prepared with food, water, skills, knowledge, being awake to the realities of this world. These are things that we can control. And I think it's imperative that we stop saying it'll never happen to me. Just because it has not happened to you yet doesn't mean it can't. I hope it doesn't. I hope nothing bad happens to anybody. Not even just people that I know, but nobody. I don't want you know, I'm the type of person, I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody, okay? But bad things do happen. We have to face reality and realize 
that it could happen to us. Doesn't mean that it will. I hope that it never does. But it could. And, you know, more and more lately, I've been hearing preppers, not just people, but preppers saying, it'll never happen to me. Or, wow, that's so unlikely. That's not going to happen. Or, you know, whatever the case may be. You know, I don't carry a firearm because I, <laughs> I don't think that anything bad is going to happen to me. I carry a firearm because I know that there are evil people in this world. And I know that uh, if they wanted to do harm to me, if they decided that I was a target for them for whatever reason, then uh, I could be prepared with, with the skills and knowledge at my disposal. So anyway, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I'm, I'm just getting so tired of people saying, it'll never happen to me. It, I hope that it doesn't. But it could, and that's why we prep, so that we can minimize the vulnerability through experience and knowledge. I'm gonna keep this rant short. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you tomorrow, bye.